Hello my friends, welcome back. Today we are going to test new knives that just arrived from the Russia, from my friend Fuchs Ivan. So take a look, they are called the Stork and the company is Le Fuchs. They are 25 centimeters, 250 grams, 6 millimeters wide and you can even see they have my name written on the handle. That's the custom work and all of that include sheet you can get for $160 and that will be only until March. So you can definitely use it if you're gonna, if you're gonna like them during my video and also let me know what do you think about them. We're gonna start like always from the full spin rotation, move to the half spin and also no spin throwing and maybe some trick shots. So let's get started. All right guys, like I said, first technique that we're gonna try will be full spin rotation. I mark it my distance on around three meters. The blade is facing towards me. So like always aim, pull back and let it slide and the weight it's more on the blade, so it should be very comfortable for spin throwing. But we will see. Wow, perfect stick right away. The targets that we built now are not in the same length. So I have to make a little step back. So now I'll be able to hit it these targets. Yep, a little bit down. And now on the middle. As you can see, very nice sticks. This one was a little over rotated. But look at that. Here I was standing on very good point and wow. The penetration is insane on this torque knife. This one, like I said, a little bit low. But it was on the first try, full spin and very nice stick. Let's continue. Dead guys. <laughs> it's much better, guys. Nice grouping and penetration as well. Okay guys, I am not much of a full spin guy, but with these knives I had no problem whatsoever to stick them into the target with the full spin rotation. So that's very cool, but now we want to figure it out how they work for half spin throwing. So the first type that I'm going to try will be conventional style. Let's do it, I will aim on the middle target. Very nice stick into one block. I really like them. And now I want to show you that with the same technique, conventional house spin, you can hit the targets that are in the different distances. It's gonna depend how you're gonna snap and move your wrist. Nice bullseye. And the last one you can see I'm always moving. And perfect sticks. So what do you think about them so far guys? I really like them a lot. After conventional house spin, we gotta try military. But with this shape, I actually never tried. I always had the symmetrical knife. So I'm really not sure how it's gonna work for the military. For those who don't know what it is, it's basically house spin controlled with a thumb. So let's give it a try. I'm gonna aim for now on the middle target. See, over rotated like I said I'm not used to but this I have to choke a little bit more and now I should stick it. 
There we go. Much better, like I said. I sometimes you have to adjust what you're doing with your fingers or wrists. It always depends on that. So let's give it one more try. Now I hope to stick them all three. Yeah. And that was much better. Like I said, for military house pin, I definitely prefer the symmetrical knife. But with this, it works as well. But what I want to try and that it's advantage of the military house pin that you can actually choke your thumb on the different distances. So for example, if I'm super close, I'm going to hold it like this. So it's going to spin faster to the target like that. I'm going to make a few step backs and I move my thumb nearly into the middle. That was a little bit over rotated. So if I'm gonna make even new, even more few step backs, I'm gonna choke it even a little bit more. And there you go, guys. And that was actually on the first try. Like I said, this one was a little bit over rotated, but other two, not that bad. You can throw from various distances, even with the military house pin. Very cool. And another technique that we're gonna try, and I'm not the best at it, is the instinctive house pin. That one is controlled with the index finger. Grip I have like this. And you can also see it's very important to don't have your knife sharp. This one it's only with a nice false edge. So let's give it a try. Like before, I'm gonna aim on the middle target from one position. Very nice. Not that nice. And better. I didn't try it guys and I made it on the first attempt. So it's very cool. And now I want to try and show you, you can also draw from the various distances with the instinctive house pin. Let's go. And compared to military house pin, you can actually leave your grip and the index finger on the same position, no matter on what distance you stand it. So I was about three meters, I can make a few step back. Not a nice stick, few step back. Very nice guys. So you can control like I said with the index finger and you can do it from crazy distances. Okay guys, house pin part is behind us. I enjoyed it very, very much. And I think the conventional one worked for me the best. Now we're gonna try no spin for that one I was looking forward the most. And I'm gonna use the reverse grip. So the blade will facing like that. And I'm gonna use my classic index finger grip. So let's give it a try from close distance. Now we're gonna move to medium and maybe even some longer throws on 10 meters, we will see. So I'm gonna aim on the middle target. Wow. Whoo! They fly like a bullet, guys. Now I'm gonna aim on the three targets and every time I'm gonna make stick with a no spin, I will make few step backs. So let's start with the left one. You got it? Wow! And the last one on the right. First try. Now I'm standing on around 5 or 6 meters and I will throw on the left, right 
and middle target. So let's do it. Let's see if I can make it on the first try as well. Wow! And the last middle one. Ooh! The last throw was kind of sketchy, but you can see if you have really good tip on your knife, very sharp one, the knife should stick. Very cool. <laughs> all right guys as you can see the medium distance no problem at all but now I want to figure it out how they fly on the 9 or 10 meters let's go Guys, I have to be honest, it took me a while to make it three sticks from this distance, but as you can see, it's very possible. Cool. All right, guys, no spin throwing worked for me on any distance up to about 10 meters. Now, before we're gonna summarize it, I still have to try the trick shots, like a no reload and stuff like that. Let's do it. So let's summarize it. So for house spin and full spin throwing, they are really great, but I enjoy them the most on the no spin throwing. But since, like I said, the weight, it's a lot of on the blades, they are perfect for spin throwing. But you can pick what technique you want. So if you want the same knives, guys, the company Le Fux Torque, you can contact them on the Facebook. I will use the link in the description below. So let me know in the comments, how do you like them? But for today, that's it. So thank you for watching, share, like, comment, subscribe, and see you next time.